Yeah, big shout out to Al Heyman, Showtime, Toyota Arena, my family, uh, my team, everyone that makes this possible, Showtime, Al, uh, Maxalio's team, uh, you know, you guys, you know, they're, they're really good to us, really kind. I know the Philippines fans are amazing as well. Um, just so happy, so grateful. Uh, you know, this fight was, was one for the books for me. Maxalio is a great champion and he's still a great champion to me. Um, I'm just happy, I'm just happy we had a fight. We gave the fans a great show. Um, it was a war. Like I promise always, every time I'm in a fight, I come to fight, I don't back down from no one, from nothing. And all gas, no breaks. That's, you know, that's what I love to do is take the fight to, to my opponents, dominate them, and overwhelm them. Um, you know, uh, he did tag me quite a bit. Um, you know, still gotta work on some things. But I feel overall, you know, I had a great, great fight, and I'm just so grateful. All right, questions, Keith? Uh, Brandon, congratulations, man. Um, at what point did you feel that he started to fatigue? Because he didn't obviously wear down in the second half of the fight. Right away, I felt like in, as soon as I got him with a good body shot, I want to say the third, third fourth round, um, he started holding a lot. Um, and I knew once he started holding, I knew that he wasn't, he wasn't uh, uh, taking my punch as well, especially to the body. And yeah, like I said, I just took the fight to him. I said I was gonna box him, and if I saw some holes in his game, which I did, uh, I took the fight right to him, and I overwhelmed him. How much do you think the problems that he had making weight yesterday, yesterday might have impacted him during the fight? Um, I really don't know. Um, maybe it did affect him, maybe it didn't. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's a professionalism sport. You know, he, if he didn't make weight, that's on his part, if he had to, you know, kill himself a little bit more to make it. I mean, that's not my problem. I, I killed myself to, to make uh, 126, so, I mean, it's only fair. Um, and this a uh, this, uh, sport where, you know, no mercy, no remorse, and, uh, you know, big shout out to him, though. Brandon, congratulations. Um, See, so, you know, the first half of the fight was very competitive. Did you have to make certain adjustments besides going to the body, or what was it that he presented that you were able to capitalize on? Yeah, you know, definitely I started boxing him from the first round and I started seeing that he wasn't really giving me action. And uh, once I was picking at his body, I saw that, you know, as soon as I got I got on the inside, he was shedding up really, really quick, uh, meaning that he was scared to find me on the inside. So that allowed me to, you know, put more pressure. And I saw that he was missing a lot of shots. He was just getting me with a little, little flurries. And, you know, I let him, you know, I let him gas out a little bit, uh, made him miss, and I was just waiting for him to gas out a little bit more, and I just took it right to him. Thank you. Brandon, uh, congratulations on the win, man. He went down a few times, maybe three times, I want to say total. Obviously, it wasn't a punch, I feel like, that put him down, but it felt like exhaustion. Were you kind of frustrated that the, the ref wasn't calling any of those knockdowns just because it seemed like he was uh, fatigued? Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you can tell right away by his demeanor. Um, you can tell by, the, by a fighter's demeanor when they're gassed out, exhausted. When, when right away, when you see an opponent fall down that easily, that means that he's showing signs that he doesn't want to fight. It means that he, he didn't have no gas, he had no, he had no legs. He was basically just fighting on, on will. And, uh, you know, I feel like I had, I had the bigger will than him tonight. I wanted to fight so bad, and I wanted to build. And, you know, here I am. Did, uh, you know, the judges ultimately had you win in wide, and, and everyone on social media felt you won the fight too, but did you feel it was as wide as uh, the judges had it? And did his right hand get your attention in the way that guys at 122 did it? Um, definitely, yeah. You know, he, he had a little, a little bit more pop. Um, he moved uh, uh, pretty good. The first, you know, me and my team knew that the first few rounds he was going to come out strong, fast, sharp, uh, trying to catch me with big shots and I just had to be patient. Just had to box him a little bit, keep my distance, pick at the body and I once I saw uh, that I damaged him to the body, I just got an inside and just worked him. Did, did you feel uh, it was as wide as yeah, the judges had it or? Um, honestly, honestly, I thought it was pre a pretty close fight, but I know for a fact, uh, you know, the point deductions and me just overwhelming him almost most of the fight uh, paid a big dividend to that. Brandon, felicidades, Rodrigo de Fino Boxing. Una pregunta, este, ¿qué es tu emoción de ser parte de esta uh, rivalidad de México contra Filipinas? Una, otra pelea clásica. No, sí, claro. No, sí, claro. Es una, es una, pues, la etapa que a Marqués dejaron una, un legado muy bonito uh, de los fanáticos uh, México contra, contra los filipinos, pero al final del día todos, todos, todos los fans van a ganar. 
y más bien yo sé que los mexicanos y los filipinos tienen la mejor fanbase y yo sé que era una buena pelea, Mark vino a pelear, yo también vine a pelear y yo sé que los fans de anoche fueron los que ganaron. The question was about the Mexico Philippines rivalry. How did it feel to be a part of this new chapter of that rivalry? And Brandon was saying that it was an honor because it's another chapter of a rivalry that Pacquiao and you know, that Pacquiao Marquez started, you know, uh, uh, writing in the in the past. So now this is one more chapter that I got to that I got to write between two really tough fighters. We really gave it our all, and I'm proud to be able to to be part of that legacy. Uh, next question from Keith. Keith Tyler, Keith going to be up next. Brandon, obviously Ray Vargas was watching the fight from ringside. Do you expect that to be your next fight? And if so, how do you expect that fight to go? Um, yeah, you know, I feel like he's a tall lady fighter. Um, he's going to box me, obviously. Um, and my job is going to be to be the aggressor, as always. Um, you know, come forward, you know, maybe box him a little bit, confuse him, lefty, righty. And uh, just as I do so well, is just take the fight right to him. You expect it to be next though, right? Um, hopefully, I mean, I, like I said in the ring, is he wants to fight, if he doesn't, whoever, I know there's a lot of great champions at 126, um, there's a lot of contenders, there's a lot of great fighters at 126, so at this point, man, I'm just so, um, just so happy, and I just can't wait to get in there with the best of the best, and keep winning belts, and keep giving fans a great show. Hey Brandon, over here in the back. Uh, congratulations. Uh, just kind of piggy backing off of uh, Keith's question. Uh, I guess is Ray like your preferred guy? Like I, I would imagine you'd want like a unification or something like that first before Ray, right? Um, I don't care. Like I said, I know okay. Stephen Fulton right now. He has a fight against Inui. Uh, he, you know, he, he has a big objective uh, ahead of him. Right now, I'm in a position where uh, I'm done to fight anyone. You know, anyone that wants to fight me, uh, my team knows. All him and knows. PBC knows that I never back down from any fight or any fight. Um, anyone that wants to fight, I mean, I'm here. Um, as you guys can see, I, I couldn't fight no matter who's in my way, and I'm gonna uh, just take the fight too. Yeah, because I'm just mentioning because he, you know, he moved up in weight. Uh, he didn't get the win over uh, Oshaki, but I, I know like this weight is his weight. Uh, in terms of the fight, did you feel like you could have gotten the stoppage? And if so, like I, I guess what made it difficult to be able to? kind of put more pressure on him even though you were on him the whole night and get him out of there yeah i mean he was just holding leaning a lot it, it was uh giving me a hard time hard time to work the body uh work on the inside i managed to work a little bit um from little glimpses um but yeah you know he was holding uh, most of the fight i was just trying to get my hands free and work you know um i uh you know taking the fight to him it is uh draining but you know my preparation my hard work and, and outside the, the ring and you know with my team so well um, I knew that I had enough and as you guys can see you know my legs were good my conditioning was good uh, my power was there everything was there um, I just felt amazing and um, you know I was really you know I know he was holding a lot I wanted to fight you know what I wanted him to to let go and, and, and fight me but um, I know he did in the last round it was amazing it feels amazing you know to be in those little firefights and give the fans uh, that atmosphere that you know they love so uh, big shout out to my team my sister my family everyone uh, Jesse Coronado Isaac uh, Steph my dad uh, Jeff Mays uh, pound for pound Davies entertainment you know everyone that was a big part of my camp I'm just really uh, grateful and so yeah final question hey Brandon congratulations Hello, great fight uh, you know we talked I think it was last week we, we touched upon um, you know after winning this fight you you mentioned that you you're really interested in getting that rematch with Fulton. That's the, that blemish that you have on your on your record that you you, you want to clear. Obviously, you mentioned you know Ray Vargas and stuff. So I just want to see now that the fight's done and we know that he's going to be taking on uh, Inoue. Where do you stand with that 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 rematch? Just be patient. You know, be patient. Um, wait for him to uh, you know get that fight done and let it die down a little bit, and then whatever he wants to do next. I mean. If I don't have a fight lined up, then let's get it on. If, if, if I have a fight lined up, then, you know, it's going to be that game where uh, we're going to see who's done fighting and not. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to fight him. Uh, he knows it. Um, I feel like everyone knows that I'm willing to fight him. Um, anyone, basically, I'm just so excited, so ready to, to, you know, put my name in the books. And, you know, just keep winning championship belts and keep leaving my mark in boxing. Final thoughts, Brandon, on your performance tonight? 
Uh, it was a good performance. Uh, I felt like I could have done a lot better. Uh, you know, Mark came to fight. My big respects to him and his team. And I'm just so happy, so grateful uh, for my team. You know, we've been through a lot of things together, tough times, but you know, they're with me all the step of the way. My family, I'm talking about my family because without them, I wouldn't be nothing. And I'm just so happy, so grateful that they're with me every step of the way and we're here to, to enjoy this journey. So thank you guys.